Alright, 2,000 miles. We are hiking out of Stratton right now in a mini army. There are nine of us right now, all in a line, hiking out at the same time. It's very overwhelming. Yep. Big view. Up here? Yeah. Sweet. Are we gonna like where's Paris? Everyone's ahead of me. Not Paris. No, everyone's ahead of me. Whoa! That's awesome. That's where we're camping. That's the pond. Yeah, I think that's where we're camping. You can hear them. Where? I think you could see them. Down on the shore opposite. Oh, yeah. Hey! This is the South Horn of Bigelow Mountain. You can actually see right down there two green roofs, and that is the shelter we stayed in last night, right next to that pond. That lake looks awesome. This is Big Little Mountain, Avery Peak. Pretty much the same view as last time. I get more of the lake though. And that's the peak that we were just on. And this one is an exciting peak because this is the last 4K peak that we climb until Katahdin. So after I come down off this one, there's no more 4K peaks um, until we start going up Katahdin, which is 5 something, 5,000 something. But yeah, so that's a little bittersweet being on our last big climb. So I just saw Paris. Uh, behind me walking southbound <laughs> and I stopped and started laughing and I asked him what he forgot and then Boomer came out from behind him it turns out we are all on a blue blaze right now <laughs> I know I have to go up this <laughs> none of us saw how long have we been on a blue blaze apparently a while my god all right there it is it looks like it's saying go straight but it's really saying, go left. <laughs> so now we're on the AT again. Mm. It did look cool. Oh, I got a picture on mine. I can send it to you if you want. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
get some color. So, <laughs> is it warm? Ish. <laughs> Boomer doesn't look very warm. It's, 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 it's pretty warm. warm. It's just when you get out. Yeah, it's just very much. Yeah, you guys are So we are three miles from the Kennebec River crossing um, and there is a canoe that takes people two at a time over the river because apparently it's not really that safe to board. Um, and yeah, so we're almost to the canoe and we're both kind of really excited to take it across the river. So we are at the river, and I guess this is where you wait. Hold on. So there's the, uh, there's the canoeer coming over with the canoe. This must be really deep because there's a pontoon boat docked over there on the bank. Huh. So marooned. <laughs> Have a seat right there. We've made it to Caratunk. This is it. It looks kind of deserted. I feel like someone's gonna come out with pistols and I'm gonna have to do a standoff. <laughs> yeah. We are leaving Caratunk. Right now, and it is so hot out. Um, Tell us how you really feel. I don't want to walk, it's too hot. But we're walking, we're gonna do six more miles, and we're gonna camp by a pond, and it's gonna be great once we get there. Just waiting to get back in the forest. Where there's hopefully gonna be a little bit of shade, and maybe a cool breeze. Maybe some pina coladas. Some pina coladas, a strawberry daiquiri. A sandy beach. Tacos, dolphins. Dolphins. Sharks. Lots to look forward to. <laughs> so I was complaining um, on the road back to the trail that it was so hot outside and I did not want to walk these six miles but in the forest it's a little bit cooler and when I'm walking because I'm walking there's like a breeze in my face which is literally just because I'm walking but it feels so much nicer than sitting in town and I'm almost done with the six miles so it's only been two hours um, so my speed's picking back up but that's because as you've just seen the trail it's so flat. It's so nice. <laughs> it's not that clear. This is apparently the clearest water on trail, according to everyone today. So this is the top of Moxie Bald coming up. The Sobos we camped with last night said it was really nice up here. So we decided to come up here for lunch. Are you okay? 
Yeah. We don't know. No one's a doctor. Yeah. No, you left. Anybody use the privy? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Um, morning. Last night was interesting. We camped at the Horseshoe something lean-to, and Thigh Gap threw up all night and pooped his pants, and General Lee threw up all night, um, and we just got word that Deadpool is over by his tent, also throwing up. So... That's not good, and now we're trying to figure out where everyone got sick from. I feel fine right now. Easy feels fine. Paris feels fine. Um, Ziploc and Sheepdog feel fine. And Boomer feels fine. But three people throwing up isn't good. Yeah, so we don't know what it is, and... Luckily, we're on our way into town. We're going to be in Monson today. Hi, everyone. So we made it to Monson, and we are currently staying at Shaw's Hiker Hostel. Um, they have been bleaching down the place all day. They said that the first person came in sick last week, um, and they've been getting a couple of sick people since then. Um, so it, there's been something going around. We read a post from someone up in the 100-mile wilderness who also got sick. Um... So it's just a thing. People are people are sick from something. Um, but yeah, Thigh Gap, Deadpool, and generally all have whatever it is. And so far it's just them three in our group. But luckily, uh, it seems to be a 24-hour bug. It only lasts a day, and then people are better and hike out. So that's not too concerning. Um, because at least if we hike out and do catch it, it'll only be for 24 hours. So that made me feel a bit better, and everyone is just relaxing and spending the day here, and we are about to go take out a canoe, because they have canoes that you can take out on the lake. Um, so we're feeling good, thankfully. Uh, I don't feel sick at all. Knock on wood. But yeah, we're gonna go canoeing. Sean's talked me into coming out here. I'm so glad. Thanks, Jones. Yeah? I appreciate How it. How glad are I don't you? Know why I, I why I was even a thought. I was like, I want to be lazy. Yeah, so Paris said no to coming out here. And I said, okay. And then I left. But I guess Easy talked him into it because I didn't put much of an effort. He didn't either. It was just like the second person. He was like, yo, come cry. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> I tried to wake Zip up, but he didn't want to. Oh, yeah. I, I was thinking about it. I scratched the bottom of his foot until he woke up. Tickled him. <laughs> You think if I jumped in, I would be able to get back in? I think so. I don't know. I oh, know, it's just the water. It just feels like it. Just because we hit the sideways. Should I jump in? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. We'll be able to get back in? We'll figure it out. What happens if I don't? You'll get back You'll in. have to drown. Alright, go on. America's favorite butt. America's favorite butt. With a hole in them. <laughs> oh, I can see your butt. Oh, I burned a hole in <laughs> Go on. Dude, I don't know. Okay. You look oh you look God. like a chicken. You do look like I'm a chicken. I'm not a chicken. You look like a chicken. <laughs> I'm not a chicken. Then jump. I'm gonna. Do it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna fall in. <laughs> Ready? Set, go. No, no countdown. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Huh? Yeah, shake the boat. I'm Michael Phelps. Okay, I'm scared. All right, let's paddle back to shore now. All right. <laughs> Bye. Oh! <No. laughs> I can't paddle back to boats. All right. I'm a big boy. General Lee's got 36. Mm. I weighed in at 27 with, two with liters full of water. water and I'm packing out a soda. Mm. Oh, I didn't get a soda. All Very right, sick. we're going to find out what my pack weighs with seven days of food. I'm like scared to put it on yeah. there. Oh. All right. I thought I had some standard like cheap ones, like those uh, little, just regular, like little that you get everywhere for the, uh, yeah, it's look like wayfarers, exactly. Oh, 27. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not, that's, that's the same as yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, and that little bitty pack. Nice. There's so much pointless stuff in there. 
<laughs> what are you gonna put in Easy's pack this time? Oh, nothing. Maybe my glass jar of grape jelly. <laughs> you have grape jelly yeah. in a glass jar? <laughs> they didn't have glass in <laughs> Alright, so we weighed my pack and with food and water for seven days, it's 27 pounds, which I'm not complaining about. Um, it's more than I thought, but seven days of food is a lot of food. So we're going into the 100 mile wilderness today and I'm packing out two sodas. Um, and when we come out of the 100 mile wilderness, we have five miles up Katahdin and then we're done. So last resupply. Let's go! You excited? I'm pumped. Is Kyle excited? Kyle's so excited. Look at how happy he is. <laughs> He's so dirty. He's so happy though. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. To the side. First break. <laughs> I'm scared. Can we go back? <laughs> back to the Springer? Yeah. Should we turn around? This is it, guys. No turning back. Whoa. You can always quit. There's still time to quit. No turning back. you considered quitting? <laughs> So we've gotten in this very fun habit of whenever someone starts to complain, we just tell them there's still time to quit. And <laughs> have you considered quitting? Because it's still an option. There's still time. It's never too late to quit. Whoa. There it is. Whoa. Whoa. Proceed with caution. Oh. Go away, Bear. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I thought the sign was bigger. Nah, bro. I thought it was too. All right. 10 day supplies back. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> 10 day days. Is it my dick? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Caution. Let me get in with her real quick. Hell yeah, I got you. Okay. I don't want to touch the shorts and put them up here, but I don't. <laughs> Over, guys. I got a bunch. Not yet. It's all over. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Go home. Ooh, did you make this strong? I want to be strong too. <laughs> Ready? Lion face. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your war face. <laughs> 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 Alright. Same thing. Sound down in the video. Five seconds. What do we do?